welcome back to the Glory Lifestyle channel. My name is Gina. Um, before I get into today's topic, please go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I talk about a lifestyle that glorifies God. So um, God has given me the word breakthrough for the year. And in that, he has broken through so much and it is November and I've already prayed and he has given me the word for next year, but I won't share that probably until this time next year. So, um, <clears throat> he has called me to break down what he has broken through this year with you guys and... I hope that this series blesses you and I pray that it encourages you. I pray that it opens your eyes to things that he wants you to see. And um, I just pray that you feel lifted after you listen to like all the testimonies that I have as to what God has done this year. So just to start off, um, my husband and I in January of this year, switched church campuses and um we're, we're still at the same church but we switched campuses and when we did that um we had we just wanted to go try out this other location that's the same distance from our home as the one we had been going to prior so we had gone into the the other the newer location that we go to now earlier this year and when we walked in there um we were so welcomed and like they were just very you know they just welcomed us really well um they saw that we were new i guess and gave us like a tour and they showed us where our baby would be for children's ministry and the ladies there were so sweet and genuine and the people that were welcoming were very very genuine and that's just, that was something that i just absolutely loved about this campus and so um they showed us how they were going to be growing the campus and they were adding on you know like a new uh portion like a new building onto that campus and so we were I was just like oh wow you know this is cool so when we left Sam and I ended up having a conversation about just staying at that campus and so we were we we just decided from there that we were going to do that so um as time progressed we ended up joining, I believe in March, we joined an, a small group or or in February, I can't remember which one. And we, we just got connected. And um, it was a slow gradual process, but we got connected. And um, then the, in February, uh, there was presbytery services at the campus and I was just like, you know, I wanted to go. So I took the baby with me. And when I took him, um, I think he was having some congestion or either I didn't want to put him in children's ministry just yet. He wasn't a year old at the time. And so that was just kind of where I was. So he was with me and Sam was going to be picking him up and going home. And so from there, um, so I was like listening to the services, praying through the services, all these different things. Um, so Sam texted me and he was like, hey, um, I'm here. And so I was just like, okay. So I came outside, switched and got the baby from him or gave him the baby. And I was just like, well, let me hear they have a word for me. And he was like, well, if they have a word for you, you're going to get the word that they have for you. So from there, um, I was like, that's true. And then I went back and sat down in services. So by the time I had gotten back, they had done the worship song and they were done. And the pastor came up and was like, hey, if you need prayer, 
please go ahead and go to this room. And I was like, man, I do need prayer. And yeah, I just knew that I needed prayer. So from there, um, I went to that prayer room and I started telling them how like I was tired and, a, you know, a new mom and it's hard to hear God's voice like I used to be able to hear before I became a mom. And then um, I was working and wanted a new job at the time, wanted to study for it to become like a mortgage loan originator and all these different things. And it was a lot going on at that time. And there was so much uncertainty for me. Like I didn't know really where God was taking me. And so in February at that time, you know, I told the lady that and she was just like, oh my gosh, you're the one with a baby. And she was like, I have a word for you. And, so, and I looked and I kind of was like, you know, she had a word for me and I got excited. Like I was looking for you. I didn't know where you went. So she ended up just sharing how the Lord um, like there is, she had this vision that there are these like mouths, like those wind up red mouths, um, like laughing and like chomping around me. And they are trying to keep all the great things that God wants to do away from me. And she said, you're going to end up laughing at them and overcoming the things that they are trying to do. And so, um, now my lunch break is over. I'll be right back.